Here we are live again in the Calico Cat back room. We want to show you some of the wonderful things that are coming in for the fall. You know, this time of the year, we're all tired of our summer clothes. Everything summer is on sale, and of course, we have a great sale going on out front, but we also have brand new things coming in in the back. And, you know, one of the great uh, trends this year that has Calico Cat written all over it is animal print, but in a slightly different way. A little bit less, a little more subtle, and used as a pop against many of your basic outfits. So I brought some things today for you to have a look at. Um, while I take off my animal print sunglasses, you can uh, t look down here at this pretty table I've laid out of accessories. When, you, when you're wearing your basic black pants, your white shirt, your, your all over black, any of your solid colors, it's great to pop one piece of animal print or even two if, you, if you'd like to do that. You can do it at your feet with all of these great looking shoes. We've got summer sandals. We've got mules, closed toe mules, and python, leopard, uh, and ocelot are kind of the way we're going this time with animal prints. Uh, a wonderful belt with hair on calf, which is something you're going to be seeing a lot more of this year. Uh, this is a contour belt that fits just above the hips, just below the waist. Uh, gives you a great little shape. Looks wonderful over a white blouse or over a sweater dress. Um, we also have other narrow, more narrow belts. This is one of Brighton's stretch belts. Uh, it's awesome over a uh, plain knit top or shirt as well. It stretches uh, and the stretch is hidden so nobody has a clue about that. This is in a subtle uh, python print. The words that they're using in the fashion industry this year about uh, animal prints is blurred. So you might think of that soft focus lens we use. We called it the Doris Day lens back when we did portrait, portraiture. Gives everything a little bit uh, blurred edges, a soft feminine look and, and it just makes it a little bit more sophisticated in my opinion. Now, we're also doing things in new colors. So you might look here again at this beautiful plumberry python print from Brighton. This is our little twister card case. I'm seeing uh, animal prints even done in very beautiful, fashionable tones. This is a very uh, kind of abstract animal print, kind of a croco tile effect done by Nick and Zoe. We have this uh, top by Parsley and Sage that's got touches of zebra stripe, but it's overlaid with beautiful color blocking so that it's a much more contemporary look. And then sometimes you even have to look for the animal print, but this year I bet it's there. Here is a little bit of um, leopard print in the corner of this beautiful hand-painted silk top from Dilemma. And you know, when it rains, you can even uh, have on your animal print with these terrific uh, leopard prints from UBU. And you know our reversible raincoats are everybody's favorite. We have a black and gr uh, silver leopard print and over here we have all kinds of tones of brown. They reverse to solid colors of course. Um, and we just got this in yesterday and it's a color I've never seen before in, uh, in a croco print. It's a burnout cotton print with some little leaf uh, shapes burned out in it in these beautiful fall tones of terracotta and green. You may see me wearing that because I like that a lot. And then even here another subtle python print with little iridescent uh, sparkles on it. These aren't really sequins, it's a heat applied process so you don't have to worry about them coming off. They're not sewn on, they're actually a, applied with heat and we never have any trouble with those uh, coming off. Now I'll, what we're looking for is something small, something a little bit more subtle, a cute way to, to put just a little bit of animal print on your outfit, like this cute little pouch here from Brighton in the cheetah print. And just in case you didn't know, Cheetah prints are solid black, no light color inside. Uh, a leopard print is black outside with a lighter color inside. And then our new ocelot, print, ocelot prints are similar to leopard, except they're bigger and the outside edge uh, in the dark color is more broken up. So I guess it really doesn't matter as long as you say animal print. But it's definite, definitely still in our fashion scene for this coming year. We're going to take you out to the front now and look at a couple of things in our Brighton line that I think you'll love that are uh, some new animal looks for this year. 
we're here in the Brighton room now so for me to show you some of the new prints. You've already seen this cute little pouch here in the cheetah print. And if you'll look down on our bottom shelf here, you'll see the, like the granddaddies of these same prints. This, this is our wonderful microfiber that's so light and uh, delicate. And look at this beautiful golden tone in here, which picks up that curry tone that, uh, that's so popular for the fall, but most people don't want to wear next to their face. So it's a great way to put it in your wardrobe. This is the ocelot print here. So see how that edge is, is broken up? It's a great neutral. It's kind of got a winter white background and it's going to look great on the, on the blacks and browns and grays. Now we're going to slide around the side here. You know, it, there's there's a time to be subtle and there's a time to be bold. And I think when you're traveling, it's time to be bold. I love to get on board an airplane with a wonderful piece of luggage. Everybody wants to talk to you. The baggage handlers compliment you on your on your luggage. So I love this piece. It's called the Weekender. It's done in our uh, leopard print. It's most it's mostly for car travel or to uh, carry on board an airplane. It's not to be checked. But uh, we have matching handbags and all kinds of matching accessories. Too. Following on this way, um, the beautiful pewter shades, which are kind of a combination of gray and bronze, look great with all of today's jewelry and all of today's clothing. Uh, it's a it's a 12 month of the year color. It looks wonderful with summer and spring colors, and you're going to love it with your falls. It looks perfectly wonderful with brown, so don't be worried that that, that it's too gray. Um, you, you'll see python print. You'll see large tile crocos. You'll see um, a lot of the animal skins. And you know, all of Brighton is embossed cowhide. So, uh, but they do a beautiful job of making it look very natural. Look, we're going to look up here at the large uh, scale python print and that beautiful plum berry, and then. Uh, winding up right over here with some of our large tile croco, which is in the classic brown and black combination. Here it is in a Brazos brown. Um, for those, I think this would look great with people who love to dress a little bit western. And then another piece of luggage. So. I know we've taken you around around the world with tiny touches of animal print today, but I hope that this will give you a new way to look at your wardrobe. We always will love animal print. This is just going to make you look a little different instead of putting it putting it on all over. You're going to put it on in a little small touch. Uh, th this gives you uh, some new ways to play with accessories. Uh, get maybe gives you a new look at some things you already in your closet, or some easy ways to update the things that are already there. Thanks so much. We hope you'll be coming down soon to see our new animal prints.